Hey, what's up everybody? I wanna talk about the difference between listing price, which is also asking price, and the market value of a home in this market, okay? This video is going to help uh, buyers, buyers agents, hopefully sellers too. And um, at the end of the video, buyers, I'm going to give a, a, an extra tip about how to really start how to better search for your home. Uh, so I hope you check that out. But for right now, listing price, market value, two different concepts apparently in this market by agents or sellers, I don't really know, but um, here it is, this is what's happening, okay? Um, when a home is about to get listed, the first thing you're supposed to do is look at the market value to understand what you should be asking people to offer for your home. And that would be based on comps and, and, and sales that have happened in your area, and uh, that would give you about your market value and you should list the house accordingly. But here's what's happening, okay? We have homes that, um, let's say, here's an example. Let's say you're a seller and your neighbor down the street, you guys were best friends, you both decided to update your home. Last year, you used the same contractors, pretty much the same tile, same almost everything, identical homes in every way. They sold their house three months ago for $500,000. So what that says is your house is worth at least $500,000. Now you're probably going to get a little more because they help push your value up and you have the same home. People are gonna see that and they're gonna offer you probably more. You know, you're probably gonna make, you know, maybe two or 3%, something more than they got. Um, and what's happening is um, in some instances, People will take this house, let's say your house, with a $500,000 comp, and they're listing your house at $400,000. Either the agent's doing that or, or the sellers are doing that, I don't know. Um, and what it's doing is it's, it's, it's making this false sense of, wow, look at this house, $400,000, I could definitely afford it. We've been struggling on offers, but we could afford $450,000, that's 50 over asking, we're willing to go. So yeah, we're competitive and we're gonna get this house and let's go, you know? And then uh, it comes down, all the offers come in and you were like almost last <laughs> in the offers, right? And sometimes in these situations, people are getting like 50 offers. And it's like, yeah, no wonder, because it's the house, you're basically asking, you're selling this product, right? for $100,000 less than what it's worth. So no kidding, there's 100 buyers for every house. So of course, there's just offers being thrown out. But a lot of those offers, I guarantee, if there's 50 of them, I bet you 40, 40 of them are in the 400 range by very hopeful buyers that think they could afford that house. And it's just wrong. And I'm hearing from agents, so like from an agent perspective, I hear this all the time where, an agent says, oh man, you know, me and my clients, we put in uh, an offer of like um, 480 on a house. So we were 80,000, we'll use the same example. The house was listed at 400. They put an offer of 480 and be like, oh man, 80,000 over and we lost. Like it's, oh, this market's so maddening. And then I always ask them, well, what did the comp say? It was, what's the market value of that house? Oh, well, there was a couple uh, houses kind of like that one that sold for like 480, 500, you know, and it's like, well, well, dude, why did you, so you offered basically retail for the house in a seller's market, like, why did, why did you do that? And why are you surprised at all? And, and I, and I, I know what it is. I, I, I've just come to this conclusion that people are getting very focused in on the list price and they think the list price is what matters and it doesn't in most cases now anyway it seems like it doesn't matter because you have to assess that property and if that market value and that's the same example okay this is a house with a neighbor neighbor sold for five hundred thousand. you know it's the same house your house is worth 500 the offer should be around 500 or more, you know, give or take, give or take. And if it was me, I, you know, as a buyer's agent, I'd look at the market, I forget that list price, the list price is stupid. <laughs> it's not even relevant. 
uh, you know, you want to go, uh, you know, and then you can look at the, the average of percentages of like, let's say houses on average sell for 2% more in the last three months. So you go 2% up. So that's 10K. So then I'd say go 515, go 520. Boom, you're going to be like right in there. And, um, and, and it's not happening. Just, just all this woe is me. I can't believe it. Um, it's like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> Look, you've got to look at the market value. So that's what's going on with that. And now as a buyer, here's here's the, uh, uh, here's the buyer tip I'll give you um, to really figure out how, how you should be looking for your homes. You really, because you kind of have to really take apart what's happening. And some of what I just said between list price and market value, they're two different things. I know a lot of people, what they're telling their buyers, they're saying, well, I know you could only afford four hundred thousand, um, so you should be looking at homes that are listed at three hundred thousand. So you could you could gap that hundred thousand over, and it's like no, that's not even close to being good uh, good uh, information and uh, good advice to give somebody. That that's just wrong. This is how you do it. You go over um, in like a nice healthy range of where where they want to be, right? print out the homes that have just sold in like the last six months and have them look at the photos, okay? Maybe you saw some of the houses yourself and whatever, but you wanna say, okay, you, you guys are interested in colonials or capes or whatever, and you wanna say, okay, I love all the these three homes in this range. Like the I love the, the, the kitchen's updated and this is updated and this is nice, I like that, blah, blah, blah. So these are in this category. And then you, you, you make your next, uh, you know, maybe we'd be interested in these homes and you know, they're not as nice, but these are our, our level two homes, right? Once you do that and you categorize the homes based on what they are, not list price, forget that. Once you categorize them, then look at the sold price, okay? And now say, all right, all these homes we would love, love, love to have, Oh man, they're they're out of our they're out of our range. They're um, they're higher than we could afford. But I would want to see them anyway. No, <laughs> no, because you'd probably want to see them because the list prices were in your range and they all sold out of your range. So that is not going to change. That will continue to be the same thing. So now you have to realize those homes that you kind of would be interested in, but they have a lot of like uh, wants, like kitchen's not as nice or maybe the bathroom's not as nice the basement's unfinished or something and you don't want that but if those homes hit your range and they're all selling for under what you could afford then that's what you have to look at so you take list price aside and now you start looking at like the house itself so it doesn't matter even if they overlist it because you know people are getting crazy they're like oh everybody else is selling for a hundred thousand dollars over so i'm just going to list my house for a hundred thousand over what i what it's even worth it's like your house is going to expire and homes expire every day by the way in this market even in this market because people have this mentality of homes are selling for insane prices and it's you have to when you take this apart the market value versus the list price it makes more sense so again look at the photos and now when the next house comes on the market and you see the photos and they kind of look like that those houses you already categorize in the price that you could afford then <laughs> i talk um then you're going to uh now you're gonna have a better understanding of where you need to be and you're going to increase your chances of getting your offer accepted so I hope that helps everybody out there, especially you buyers. I feel very bad for you. I think uh, a lot of times either you're just not getting the right advice or you're, um, you know, I'm like and it's not your fault. It's not really anybody's fault. It's just the market's crazy. But I think somebody just needs to dial this in for people. And uh, I think that will really help you out a lot. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments or you think I'm wrong, uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, other than that, um, I hope you all take care and happy hunting.